Haven and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing a video that will get you into the 4th of July spirit if you are not in it already. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you guys fun things to do on 4th of July, which is tomorrow if you are watching this on the day it comes out. Or if you are watching it the day after it comes out, then happy 4th of July. Anyways, guys, I'm so excited to show you all of these. They are so much fun and you will definitely have a lot of fun and definitely get into that 4th of July spirit. You know what I mean? Okay. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because why not? And like this video because also, why not? Literally, there's no reason not to. And if you like this video, then I bet you, you will definitely enjoy my other ones. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you will always see my new videos and you can be the first to comment, which let me tell you, is pretty cool. So I think that's pretty much it for this intro. I don't want to ramble on too long because you guys know I do that a lot. So why don't we just get started? The first thing that you can do this 4th of July is have a bomb pop. And as you can see, I put on my Bomb Pop Lip Zest. I actually have two of them, one jumbo and then one regular size. And I am not kidding when I tell you that Lip Zest is literally so accurate, it's insane. But anyways, um, I love Bomb Pops. I just think they're so festive, as you can see by the colors of them. And yeah, I just love them so much. They're also delicious. Yeah, if you have some Bomb Pops, then definitely have one on the 4th of July. Also, I don't know what the heck I'm doing with my hands in this, so. Don't mind that. <laughs> The next thing you could do is paint your nails for 4th of July. And here's what mine looked like. I forgot to film me actually like painting them. So I'm sorry about that, but here's the finished product of them. And I know they aren't that good, but I tried. So that's all that matters. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands on this. I don't know why. I just think I was like running out of ideas, but anyways. And as you can see, I didn't really have a red polish, so I just used pink. But you guys probably know by now, I'm obsessed with pink, so I kind of like it more, if I'm being honest. But yeah, you can definitely do your nails and be creative with it, and it's just super fun. So I would definitely recommend for you to do that on the 4th of July. Alright guys, the next thing is to make lip balm. And as you guys know, I have my own lip balm business. Here's my 4th of July collection. I am obsessed with this collection. And there's only one in stock, so I would definitely recommend for you guys to get it quickly. But you could just find an easy lip balm recipe if you have the ingredients at home. And just make some 4th of July themed lip balm. Here is Firecracker Fizz Root Beer. It smells so good. This one is Stars and Stripes Raspberry Cheesecake. Let me tell you, this one smells exactly like the real thing. It is seriously insane. And the final one that we have is Patriotic Cherry. I love the graphics on this one and this smells exactly like fresh and sweet cherries. It is amazing. Guys, the last activity that you can do on the 4th of July, I don't know why I said it like that. Anyways, is to make a 4th of July themed treat. So I made these Rice Krispie Treat Pops with red and white sprinkles all over them. So I just took a Rice Krispie Treat and put one of those like cake pop sticks on it. And I just did this to three other Rice Krispie Treats. So now that we are done with that, we are going to be making the like sprinkle part of it. So I'm just going to be putting in red and blue sprinkles, an equal amount of both. And we are just going to be mixing that all up. And I actually had to add a bit more blue because it was kind of like uneven. So now that we are done with that, we are going to start dipping them. So I just dipped like one fourth of the Rice Krispie Treat, but you can just like dip the top. You can dip the whole thing. Girl, you can do whatever you want, okay? You can be so creative with this and it honestly does not matter what type of treat you make. It just has to do with 4th of July and girl, you are good. This is what I'm doing here. I'm just going to be dipping these and this was actually a lot of fun. So 
So here's what the finished pops looked like. I am obsessed with how they turned out and they were so, so good, you guys. I would definitely recommend trying this. And you can even make the Rice Krispie Treats from scratch. They will probably taste a lot better. It's really easy, quick, and simple. Again, seriously, like what the heck was I doing? Um, also guys, do you like this transition? I feel like it's pretty cool. And that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys got some ideas from watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing 4th of July because, girl, you deserve it. I hope you are having a great day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.